has been said that Tiger Woods was born in Wolfsburg, Germany and Jeremy Clarkson still thinks that this is a good car. Hello world, welcome to Amsterdam. This is the 2018 Golf GTI Performance Pack version. It is the latest version of the most known German hot hatch and uh, probably the most sold one. The front part of the car presents the same aggressive lines on the bonnet. I mean nothing changed here in comparison with the older model. Uh, this version has the same two liter TSI engine uh, but with more power 245 horsepower and 370 newton meter while the previous model had three, 230 horsepower and 350 newton meters the red GTI logo reminds you that you have indeed a performance pack version uh, this brings to the table more power better brakes and an amazing front differential which maximizes the grip uh, here are the fog lights, which also light up when the car is cornering. The, the facelift brings an update to the headlamps. These are LED equipped, which indeed look far better than the normal or even Xenon equipped ones. So of course, this is new technology which was introduced to bring its advantages, right? The engine. The engine, if you look at it, it is not impressive. It's small, it has TSI in red printed on the plastic cover here, and that's it. Nothing more to say about this. Uh, as mentioned, the engine is producing 245 horsepower. The car mass is around 1,400 kilos. And the model that I have here has a 7-speed DSG gearbox. Many say that if you want to feel the true racing experience of a GTI, uh, you need to drive a manual gearbox. I can agree with that, as indeed a manual gearbox has the role of making a symbiosis uh, between driver and uh, the car, especially when you are driving a sports car. But this DSG version is truly amazing. I mean, it is highly optimized and has its advantages in terms of feedback and, uh, and performance. Now, I will go on the right side of the car to show an overview of the things characteristic to this 2018 Golf 7 Performance Pack GTI. So, see you on the other side. So, we are on the right side of the car. The folding mirrors are built also in an aerodynamic shape. We can see the GTI logo available also on the car's side. What is interesting is that for the performance pack version you have the red painted brakes staying behind the 18 inch wheels, which are characteristic to the model. What I like is this shape here, you see? It reminds me of the Golf 4. This fuel door uh, has now more personality being built in a shape with parallel angles. I like that. Uh, the space that you get in this car is more than convenient. Of course, it is not an appropriate to consider this car as a station wagon or limousine. But even so, you'll get enough space from this hot hatch. Couples are able to travel with comfort. Let's move now to the back of the car to have a look also there. We are at the back side of the car. At the back side of the car, we have the full LED tail lights, which create a real spectacle when driving behind the car in the evening or night. Though these two exhausts represent another characteristic of the GTI, I mean having bigger and louder exhausts tell us that we have the performance pack version. Uh, those extra horsepowers need to be heard. We are not talking about Golf 7R exhausts or about a 600 horsepower car, but I would say it's still sufficient to observe a GTI performance pack on the street. 
Uh, on the lower side, we can see this good quality sport plastic rear bumper, which increases the downforce uh, coefficient of the car. Uh, a sports car needs aerodynamics, right? The trunk capacity is reasonable taking into account this is a hot hatch. I mean, for us, it was more enough than more than enough considering a weekend travel carrying personal stuff and all filming equipment. Comparing with other hot hatches like BMW 135e or Renault Megane RS, the 380 liter trunk will provide the traveler with enough space for things to be stored during a short trip. This car has back camera, which now is hidden under the VM under the Volkswagen logo and will appear when, when putting the, gar, uh, the, the gear in reverse. So now let's see how the interior looks and what technology do we find on board. Hello everybody, this is me again. Uh, I stopped by to eat something on my way from Amsterdam to Frankfurt uh, and I thought to myself this would be a good opportunity to briefly show you the interior of the car. Uh, this is how the LED exterior lights look on evening. When driver doors open, you can easily notify the red line available. This is characteristic to the GTI. On the GTD model, you will find a white line. This line can be seen on every door of the car. On the door, you will find the conventional mirror controls, including folding and hitting buttons. Uh, this uh, the windows control including the windows lock button the car I have here doesn't have keyless so when putting the key in ignition the 12 inch active info display from Volkswagen is showing up when, even if the option of this option costs like 2000 euro more I would say it deserves every cent it is not just nicer to watch but also easier for the driver. Navigation screen can be moved here. Here on the left, you can see the lights control button, the leather steering wheel with red th threads. It's built using good materials. Real aluminum, leather and good quality plastic make this look like a proper steering wheel for a sports car. Uh, on the left side, are the ACC active cruise control buttons uh, plus the volume button and on the top on the right side you can find the buttons to control the active info display options uh, you can also find buttons for voice control and media city media settings yeah this car has pedal shifting which work indeed very very well the nine inch infotainment screen is very smooth on touch responds very prompt and accurate below we have the climate control i will not insist on that as i guess this is quite familiar to you i will mention only that the car has heated seats for driver and right passenger we have a sync button which has the role to synchronize the climate settings on the passenger side with the one already configured on the driver side. This is the emergency signal. On the roof, we have the interior lights button and other three function for SOS, service and information. SOS button will call the Volkswagen center. Service button will show you when next maintenance details are required. Uh, we have uh, the, the gearbox is a seven speed DSG gearbox shortly it has two clutches. One is for controlling the odd gears and the other one is for controlling the even gears. So in every moment, for every speed, there is a clutch available to take control. Near the gearbox stick, the gearbox stick, yeah, we have four buttons. Start and stop function, stops and restart the engine in specific condition. Uh, if the consumer and the consumers are not taking too much load from the battery, the engine will stop when you stop completely the car. If the auto hold function on which we will speak in a minute is activated, you can take the foot on the brake and the engine will be stopped. If auto hold is not uh, active, 
when releasing the foot on the brake, the engine will automatically start. Below is the ESP, Electronic Stability Program, which is activated by default. For deactivation, this button uh, here needs to be pressed and a notice is showed in the active info display. Automatic parking system, the system maneuvers the steering wheel and the driver needs to control the gearbox and pedals. I already made a video, I will show you shortly now. The below button is for parking sensors. They will um, automatically activate when you put the car in reverse. The sensors will automatically activate if you get too close to obstacles, uh, but can also be activated anytime by, by pressing the button. The car has uh, electronic parking brake uh, button and auto hold function. Electronic parking brake pressed means the red parking sign is appearing and uh, when auto hold button is pressed means that the green parking sign is appearing. The auto hold function helps especially when the car is in an uphill or downhill situation and you as driver don't want to stay with the foot on the brake because the car will go up or down. The quality of the materials from the inside is satisfying as you find in all today's German cars. Even if we nowadays live in a world where cheap plastic is more popular in car manufacturing, as it is easier to obtain and uh, has the advantage of being lightweight, uh, in this March 2018 Golf you will see good quality plastic. This car uh, has only 13,000 kilometers. The space in the back is reasonable, as I mentioned also in the exterior presentation. The driver's seat is configured for me. I am 185 and I still have almost three fingers of space. Hi guys, I just arrived home in Frankfurt. I hope you see something. It's a little bit dark here, but I hope you see something. I just wanted to film uh, also uh, in the car with me driving to share my experience over these three days because I have the car for almost three days from Friday to Sunday and tomorrow I need to bring it back on this opportunity <clears throat> uh, I want also to, to thank Volkswagen Frankfurt for renting me this car this was a truly awesome experience for me this weekend to to enjoy uh, driving this car for I think I have already 1050 kilometers that I drove so I've made an idea how the things go with with this car so guys yeah let's recap we have here a 2018 Golf 7 GTI performance pack version the latest Volkswagen Golf 7 model well it is improper to say this is the new version of a Golf 7 no it's a facelift and what should be mentioned compared with the non-facelift model is new head and tail lights, new alloy wheels design and the new placement for the two exhausts, new infotainment design with no physical buttons but with touch screen, more power from the engine, 15 horsepower and 20 newton meters more. So we have two liter TSI petrol engine, straight four cylinder, 245 horsepower and 370 newton meter front wheel drive car with an amazing electronic differential 7 speed DSG gearbox active info display automatic parking back camera and many other available options this for 39000 euro i would like to share my thoughts uh, on this car based on four aspects the first one would be price versus what you get and what are the other options. The second one, who should buy this car? Who is its audience? 
then good things versus bad things and the fourth one and finally how was my experience driving it what are the conclusions you pay 39,000 euro and you get the most notorious four-door sports car with the latest generation DSG gearbox full LED lights 245 horsepower automatic parking back camera and a lot of history it has sufficient space to carry more than a trolley when you go on your vacation to the seaside uh, it has the latest technology so you can drive safe and for long distances for 33,000 euro you can get a Ford Focus ST with a manual gearbox and almost the same options available or you can get a 40,000 euro BMW 125e series with the iDrive infotainment and rear wheel drive or you can get for the same money the new Renault Megane RS which has 280 horsepower and new four wheel drive system well for Focus ST should not exist when the world has Ford Focus RS or Ford, Ford Mustang which are truly amazing cars then BMW is unstable at high speeds due to the rear wheel drive and the Megane RS is quite an interesting option but I'm not sure what to say about the four wheel drive system it's still new so what should one choose? This is the first hot hatch ever made, 40 years of tradition and work. I would be very tempted to say that single young people or couples would drive this car. The partner in the couple, from their perspective as a passenger, would have thought and expected that the golf is a quiet game played only by people who, all, who always drive 40 in a 50 km per hour area or people that don't wait for the petrol tank to be empty but refill it when only one third is gone I think the Golf GTI is not for that passenger I think the GTI is for the driver Golf GTI wants its driver to use both hands on the steering wheel most of the time the car look the car looks like a proper GTI. The new design with the exterior lights combined with the bigger exhausts give the exact level of dynamism that you should expect from a GTI. The performance pack enforces this idea. A lot of red, bigger brakes, more power and an amazing differential are the ingredients of a true motorway stallion. A lap time feature is also available so that you can time the serious things. Even if it's not a long car, it provides sufficient space for luggage and for people. And features. The car comes with the latest technologies in the field like line assist or automatic parking and wireless charging. Now moving to another topic, I've been informed that the suspension is a little bit softer in the performance pack version compared to the classical GTI. For me, it was no difference at all. We have here a sports car which has support suspension. It is not as comfort comfortable as a Bentley or Mercedes, but should it be? The fuel tank is too small. You just cannot put the same fuel tank as the one from 1.0 TSI Golf. When you drive the car as a proper GTI, the 50 liter petrol tank simply becomes too small. I understand there are always weight related aspects, but still. Let's sum up. Three days, more than 1000 km, 
and a lot of fuel wasted. But we gathered experience and had the pleasure of driving a GTI. It doesn't look complicated. It doesn't want to be noticed, but it gets noticed. You want technology? You get technology. You want feedback from the engine? You get it. Would you buy it? Well, I would definitely do it.